The film opens as Raya is riding her giant pet named, Tuk Tuk, through a desert wasteland. She explains through narration that 500 years earlier, the land was once known as Kamandra, which was prosperous and thriving. There even lived dragons with magic powers among the people. Soon, demonic spirits known as the Drun came alive, causing people to turn to stone and growing stronger with each person they consume. The dragons used their magic to create the dragon gem, entrusting it to their young sibling Sisu, who used the gem to vanquish the Drun and seal them away. Still, all the other dragons turned to stone and did not return when the humans did. The people of Kamandra sought the gem's power, leading to them splitting into five separate clans, Tail, Talon, Fong, Spine, and Heart. Centuries later, a young Raya is with Tuk Tuk entering the temple or the Heart clan, which she is part of, keeps the dragon gem. After getting through the traps, Raya finds herself facing an adversary guarding the gem. She briefly spars with him until it is revealed that this man is her father, Chief Benja, leader of the Heart Clan. Benja hosts a feast to unite the other clans and potentially revive Kamandra as it once was. When the other four clans arrive, Raya approaches Namari, daughter of the Fang Clan's Chief Virana. The girls appear to become friends just as the clans gather for the feast. Raya and Namari express their admiration over the dragons, with Namari gifting Raya with a necklace of Sisu. Raya then summons Namari to show her where they keep the dragon gem. This was always Namari's purpose because she manipulated Raya to get close to the gem so Fang could take it. The other clans storm into the temple, but despite Benja's attempt to keep them calm, the clans start fighting for the gem until it is dropped and shatters. This causes the Druin to come back and begin attacking, turning people to stone. As Raya and Benja flee, he notices that the Druin are repelled by water. Members from the clans grab pieces of the gem as they run, with Benja taking one part and giving it to Raya. Knowing that the Druin are getting closer, Benja entrusts her with the gem piece to get to safety. He throws her off the bridge into the river just before he is turned to stone. Six years later, Raya and Tuk Tuk make their way into the tail land. She has spent the last few years searching for the other gem pieces, but to no avail. Raya and Tuk Tuk come across a crashed ship with a trail of water leading into it. Raya enters and calls out to Sisu, tearfully begging her to come back to help her. The water around her begins to float before it brings Sisu back. The dragon is unaware until Raya explains that she has been asleep for 500 years, her siblings are gone, and the dragon gem is broken. Sisu is dismayed since she isn't sure how to fix things because her siblings made the gem and only trusted her to use it. Raya gives Sisu her piece of the gem, which causes her to glow, which is the magic of her sister Amber. Outside, the Fang warriors, led by Namari, start making their way through the land, as they know Raya is looking for the gem pieces. Sisu joins Raya and Tuk Tuk as they make their way to a cave where the tail chieftess had kept her piece of the gem. The cave is booby-trapped, and they find the skeleton of the chieftess still holding her piece after falling victim to her traps. Raya makes her way across the gap with Sisu's help. When they get the piece, it causes Sisu to turn human, a power held by her shape-shifting sister Prani. Namari and the Fang warriors show up moments later. Raya still holds a grudge against Namari for her betrayal. Raya uses her wits to set off a trap to keep the Fang clan under while escaping with Sisu and Tuk Tuk. The Fangs chase the heroes on their cat creatures, but Raya manages to lose them when they hit the water. They enter a boat run by a ten-year-old boy named Baun, who offers them food and a ride for the money. Raya gives him some jades to evade the Fang clan, but Sisu jumps in the water to turn back into a dragon and help swim the boat away from the Fangs. However, Raya asks Sisu to maintain her human form until they find all the pieces of the gem. Baun guides Raya, Sisu, and Tuk Tuk through the night, sailing across the river that keeps the Druin away. Baun has lost his family to the Druin and has had to fend for himself. Sisu explains that the Druin were born from human discord and are the opposite of what dragons stand for. They make their way into the Talon land, where they hope to find the gem piece kept by Talon's chief, Dang Hai. Sisu thinks they can appeal to Dang Hai with a gift, while Raya goes off with Tuk Tuk to find the piece herself. Raya spots a little baby, Noi, all by herself. 
It's just a trap set up by Noi and her companions, three onjis, monkey-like creatures, so that they can steal from her. They run until they hit a wall and are forced to give Raya the gem pieces back. When Raya realizes Noi has no family to go to, she asks for her, and the onjis help get the piece. Meanwhile, Sisu listens to Baun about buying things on credit, so she goes off swiping everything she can with the promise of credit. When the merchants surround her, she is taken by an old lady, Dang Hu. After Noi and the Onjis distract the guards. Raya enters Dang Hai's palace and finds a man that she thinks is Dang Hai, only for the man to reveal that Dang Hai has since been turned to stone by the Druin, and Dang Hu is the new chieftess. She takes Sisu to a part of the land where the Druin waits outside, and she threatens Sisu unless she tells her where the other pieces are. Raya, who realized Sisu was in trouble, finds her after fending off the Druin. And Raya takes Dang Hu's piece, allowing Sisu to produce fog, courtesy of her brother Jugan, and helps them escape. Noi and the Onjis join the heroes on Baun's boat. Namari and her fellow warriors return to Fang to report to Virana. She wants to try and ambush Raya in Spineland before she gets the next piece. However, Virana thinks Namari would only be acting based on emotions and impulse. They don't need to do any more to try and benefit Fang since they already did enough to keep it prospering and keeping the Druin away. On their way to Spine, Raya talks to Sisu about how she felt her father's vision of a united commander fell because of putting his trust in the wrong people. Sisu thinks that trust is the only way to make things right again, as her siblings trusted all the dragons to protect the world from the Druin. They reach Spine and approach a village. Sisu tries to approach head-on with the belief that the leader there will trust her kindness, but it gets her and Raya captured. They are met by Tong, a Spine warrior who is the last survivor of the village after the Druin attacked. Tuk Tuk bursts in with Baun, Noi, and the Onjis, and they tie Tong up before getting his gem piece. Soon, Namari and her warriors approach the village gates. After realizing that Tong is alone and has lost as much as the others have, she lets him go and tries to find a way to hold off Namari while the others escape. Raya faces Namari and battles her, but as she starts to lose, Sisu comes out and reveals her dragon form to everyone. As Namari is stunned, Sisu uses her fog powers to get Raya and the others away to safety. Raya is forced to reveal to the others, now joined by Tong, about the quest to use Sisu's help to defeat the Druin and bring everyone back to life. The others agree to participate in the quest to free their loved ones. The group approaches Fang and tries to come up with an excellent plan to get the gem piece. Sisu thinks it would be easier to befriend Namari. Hence, she willingly gives it up, but Raya still refuses to trust Namari. They pass through Heart and come across the statues of Sisu's siblings, and she recounts the moment where her eldest brother Pengu made it so that she would use the gem. They also find Benja's stone body. Raya decides to listen to Sisu and try to form an alliance with Namari. Raya secures a meeting with Namari and gives her the dragon pendant that she gave her when they were kids as a token of peace. Namari presents her gem piece. But after Sisu emerges and shows the other pieces they recovered, Namari threatens them with a crossbow and demands that Sisu and the pieces go back to Fang with her. Sisu approaches her and tells Namari she trusts her to do the right thing. Raya tries to use her sword to disarm Namari. Still, it backfires and accidentally causes Sisu to strike an arrow, which appears to kill her. The water in the land disappears, and suddenly, there is nothing left to hold the Druin back. With the land falling into chaos, Namari rushes back to Fang, only to find Virana turned to stone. Raya follows her, full of rage and vengeance. They battle once more, even as everything falls apart around them. When Raya has Namari at her mercy, she resigns to her fate, but Raya cannot bring herself to kill her. The others try to get the pieces to Raya, only for everyone to fall down a hole. The magic in the gem starts to fade, and the druin starts to get closer and closer. Raya then remembers Sisu's words and realizes the only way to stop this is through trust. She decides Namari must be the one to unite the pieces. After Raya gives her the heart's piece, she is turned to stone. Baun follows her lead and gives his piece to Namari before he stands next to Raya and is petrified. Tong and Noi give their pieces as well and join their friends, along with the Onjis. Namari puts the pieces together and stands with them, also a stone. For a moment, nothing appears to happen until a flash of light bursts out and spreads across the land, destroying the Druin. 
The magic from the gem revives not only the humans but the dragons as well. They use their powers toward the water to revive Sisu as well. She is delighted to see her siblings again. Raya and her friends run to reunite with Sisu, and they also accept Namari as an ally now as well. The heroes return to their lands and are reunited with their families. Raya returns to heart and sees that Benja is alive, and he is elated to see his daughter grown up and as the hero, he knew she would become. Raya surprises him by introducing him to Sisu, who tells Benja all the greatness Raya accomplished. She then presents the other members of the clans arriving, finally ready to unite and become Commandra once again. Sisu then rejoins her siblings as they take to the skies. Thank you for watching our featured video here in Movie Summary. I hope you have enjoyed watching our videos. Please click the like and share buttons to share the video to your families and friends, and please subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Click the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever we upload new videos. Bye for now, and see you in our next videos.